Let's talk about overpayments today, Social Security overpayments. You uh, received a nice little letter from the Social Security Administration saying that uh, they paid you too much. Well, what do you do? This is what I'm going to talk about today is uh, overpayments from Social Security. My name is uh, Dr. Ed Weir. I am a former district manager of the Social Security Administration. Um, me and my team help people throughout the country navigate the Social Security and Medicare system to make sure you receive everything you're eligible for. Our help is always free, so make sure you give us a call, 888-817-0446 or mygovexpert.com. Okay, you've got an overpayment for whatever reason. Um, how do you address it? Okay, so if you just know it's, uh, um, you know, you have an overpayment and you know it's uh, your fault and you know you got to pay it, then then that's the situation. But you can also, you can always uh, request a, a, a payment plan. Okay, how do you do that? It's through an SSA 632. SSA 632 is a request um, for waiver or um, depending on the amount and how much you're requesting um, to, uh, to to pay the overpayment, if if you're if you're willing to just pay it off in, in 12 months, sometimes 24 months, but in 12 months or so, 30 uh, under 36 months, it really depends on how much it is and everything. What was the situation? Uh, that's one thing is about the uh, Social Security Administration. There is uh, just a, an immense amount of gray area there and it changes on a regular basis. Uh, the uh, regulations for Social Security, um, if you printed it out, uh, it'd be over 20,000 pages. Uh, that's why uh, you get these uh, kind of fly-by-night uh, people that uh, give out Social Security advice after, you know, taking a, a two-day seminar, um, you know, be very hesitant about it getting uh, advice. Um, so uh, 20,000 pages, and there's always exceptions and loopholes and, uh, um, you know, caveats. And uh, with all of it, it's amazing how much gray area is on this. Okay, so you've got an overpayment and uh, you just go in there. You know, if you want to cut him a check, cut Social Security a check, you know it's your fault. You just go ahead and pay it. End of story. If you want to go ahead and set up a payment plan, remember, it's interest free. Um, so it really depends on this situation, but 12, 24 months, 36 months, maybe, um, set up a payment plan, no problem. But if you say, you know what, uh, no, I don't uh, agree with the amount, um, two things have to be met. It's not your fault and you can't repay it. Both of those things have to be met. You have to jump over both of those hurdles. It's not your fault and you can't repay it. So it's not your fault in the sense of, you know, this is completely, um, you know, I notified Social Security that I was, you know, working. I, you know, um, you know, that was, uh, I notified uh, Social Security to stop my payments and they never did. And, you know, whatever the case may be, it wasn't your fault. And number, number two, again, is you, you can't repay it. So if you can't repay it, you have to prove to Social Security that you actually can't repay it. So usually they request, and almost they always they request with your 632, the SSA 632, they request um, proof of uh, essentially, you know, how much you're, you know, paying for rent, electricity, and how much income you have in and everything like that. So if you can uh, jump over both of those hurdles, that is not your, you can prove that it wasn't your fault. And you can also prove that uh, um, you can't repay it. Social Security has, the, the Social Security employee has the right to waive the overpayment, and that happens all the time. Um, if you disagree with the nature of the overpayment or the amount of the overpayment, um, and, and you know, this is a little complicated, and even Social Security employees kind of miss the difference between the two. There is where you can request, uh, um, what's a, with a SSA 561, a request for reconsideration. So for someone to reconsider the the amount or, or the nature of um, uh, the overpayment that, you know, uh, Social Security was reading, you know, the, the regulations wrong and therefore the, the overpayment became, you know, um, was established because of uh, in, an, an erroneous reading of the regulations. Um, you say, okay, yeah, um, you know, 
my overpayment is $10,000. Okay, I, I believe I have an overpayment, but I think you calculated it wrong. I think it only should be $6,500. And that's what you do with a, uh, the SSA 561, a request for reconsideration. Someone else other than the person that came up with the overpayment will look at it again to see if, oh, okay, oh yeah, this, this should, yeah, sorry, this should never have been an overpayment or the, the calculations were completely wrong. So, but if you kind of agree with the amounts, okay, I can see where they came up with that amount. I don't agree with it, um, but also I can't repay it. Um, so you file the 632, you provide the, uh, the documentation and you take it into your social security office. And the most th important thing about taking it into social security office is get a co make copies of everything you give social security. And when you give them your copies, the originals, um, you have them um, give you some type of confirmation that they received it, okay? A lot of paperwork, uh, again, uh, you know, uh, 65,000 employees and Social Security, over 1,200 offices. Um, uh, the, uh, my office, we had, you know, two or 3,000 people a day, uh, over 80 employees, and uh, stuff, unfortunately, gets lost. So you don't want your stuff to get lost. So get some type of confirmation that you, uh, you, you gave it to them and uh, um, they will unfortunately eventually make a determination on your request for waiver or request for reconsideration. If you're denied, if uh, um, uh, the, the, uh, the request for waiver is denied, for instance, you can rest, uh, request a personal conference. This is where you actually get to talk to a Social Security employee. So they will schedule a personal conference and sit down with you or go with you on the phone now um, and go over everything and, and you can make your argument one way or the other. You can even, you know, uh, hire a lawyer, you know, a lawyer friend or whatever the case may be, have someone there with you for moral support, financial support, and, you know, in terms of understanding um, the, the finances of it all. Um, and they can help you um, uh, make the argument to Social Security of why um, it sh the overpayment should be waived. Um, one of the things that people don't, uh, um, uh, even a lot of Social Security employees don't know, is that if the Social Security employees, are, okay, um, all right, we, we can't waive this, but Okay, we we uh, we found that uh, you owe less than you know what we originally thought, so we're going to reduce it from you know ten to you know sixty five hundred. And uh, okay, uh, you can repay it, but it's going to take longer than you know thirty six months. Going to take you know five years or ten years because it's a you know large overpayment. You can pay something you know ten dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, thirty dollars a month, hundred dollars a month, whatever the case may be. It can set you up on a payment plan again. This is all interest free. So we can, uh, they, they can set you up on, a, on that payment plan, um, but don't take that to the bank yet. Um, because sometimes what happens if you get a, an employee at the local office and they're just super, super nice and they really, you know, agree with your, your, you know, your, your case of, you know, the nature of the overpayment and you really can't pay it and they set you up for a payment plan of $10 a month. Um, sometimes, not often, but sometimes, that will go to what's called the, the processing center. Sometimes Social Security employees call it the payment center, processing center, there are several processing centers. So there's the district office, the, the local office you've gone to, and then above and beyond that, uh, there's several processing th centers throughout the country. And uh, they can override that. They can look at this and say, okay, this is a, you know, $20,000 overpayment. This, you know, this employee here in Topeka, Kansas, you know, is settled for $10 a month. Is he crazy? Um, so they can bump it up to, you know, say, no, no we're going to deny that. And we're going to, you know, bump it up to $50, $100, $250 a month because this person can pay it. Um, so again, you have appeal rights in that case, but uh, um, so... Um, hopefully, the, the first determination on how much uh, your, your overpayment uh, plan, repayment plan is, is accepted by the processing centers. But uh, uh, again, uh, um, just be prepared in case that is not. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments uh, below. 
Um, we'll go through there and uh, see if we can uh, uh, answer any of the questions on overpayments. There's just uh, uh, thousands of different uh, uh, scenarios in terms of how people get overpaid and how they can set up repayments and get that waived and, and get it reconsidered and all the rest of it. Um, and if you have any other questions, uh, again, we are a, a team of uh, former Social Security employees throughout the country helping you navigate Social Security and Medicare to make sure you're receiving everything you're eligible for. And again, our help is completely free, so make sure you give us a call, 888 817 0446 or mygovexpert.com. Set up an appointment and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Have a beautiful day.